Hello and welcome to the Vision Podcast. My name is Julia Brunton and some people call me Jules. This podcast is about life. Whether your goal is living your best life or simply navigating life, this podcast is for you. By listening to this podcast, you may learn something new, you may get inspired, you may even laugh and you may even find you ignite a new sense of self-belief too. All I ask is that you remain open. So please join me and guests as we share stories, learnings and truths from past and present. The good, the bad, the brilliant. Thank you for joining the Vision Community. So before we jump into today's first episode, I wanted to preempt a couple of things with you. Now, this episode is going to be about setting the scene. So less inspirational, motivational, life impacting content and rather looking at the purpose and establishing the what, the whys, etc. And after that, who knows? But what I can say is, uh, yes, there will be one on one solo episodes with myself, as well as conversations with guests from all walks of life. Now, I do like structure and I do like consistency and have a short term as well as a long term vision for the podcast. However, I have learned to remain open and absolutely am open to when inspiration strikes. So we shall see what happens. Now, what I can say for the Vision Podcast is this. It is a place that I hope will support anyone who chooses to listen, whether this be providing some new knowledge, some inspiration and some motivation. In other cases, some comfort too on day to day life, navigating it. And if you wish, helping you forge a new vision in life a new way of living, being, experiencing the world, especially when you have had to navigate challenges and less favourable experience, whether this be the result of life events or people. And I hope it will also be a platform that encourages and inspires everyone, and I mean everyone, to uh, look at their own lives and to look at how they also engage with others. So, um Ultimately, we are all in this together, regardless of who you are, we are all and do meet with challenges on our journey. So without doubt, I hope that I, as well as guests, will show you and give you confidence and inspiration that even when life knocks you down and circumstances happen outside of your control, it is absolutely possible to get back up and go again. Hello and welcome. My name is Julia and some people call me Jules. And welcome to this first episode of the Vision podcast. Now, I started recording this last Sunday. For many of you, it was a regular Sunday, the day off, whilst others were celebrating Easter Sunday, the day we remember Jesus Christ rising. And I'd intentionally chosen this day as it seemed befitting to record and uh, put together the first episode, even though other episodes have already been recorded with guests, because it represented to me new life and also the start of new beginnings. So the topic of this podcast, life, which is a rather expansive topic, absolutely, and it could go in many directions, who knows. But for now, we're looking at essentially uh, leading our best lives as well as just navigating life full stop. As mentioned previously, however, this first episode is going to be looking at setting the scene rather than going into uh, other inspirational or life impacting content. So before I do so, I wanted to give 
you a tiny glimpse into my life. I was born in Southampton in Hampshire in England in the UK. I was the only girl in my class at school for four years. My parents split up in my teens. I went to uni, I studied business and I paid my own way through. My parents got divorced. I was one of the first to get married and I was one of the first to get divorced too. I've taken many leaps of faith including going to live and work in America. And I have worked with some of the most recognized people on this planet, helping them transform businesses, careers, and lives. I've also met many more too. And as a result, have gathered together a pool of positive life impacting behaviors and habits. I've attended many interesting events from the Oscars and Golden Globe events to New York and London Fashion Weeks. I've had extremely demanding work schedules and brutal work assignments. I've lost loved ones. I've had burnout almost twice and I've made a lot of wrong decisions. I've moved more times than I can actually remember, including multiple country moves. I've traveled to different corners of the world And I have laughed, experienced some incredible things and worked with some brilliant individuals too. Now, the laughter piece, I am going to regroup with that one uh, in future episodes, as it is intrinsic to my personal brand, so to speak. Using it as a tool to support you navigating the journey of life. Now, all in all, what I shared was a far cry from the initial plan. And that initial plan was to marry and have three children in my 20s. Hmm. Now, along my journey, I have learned some harsh truths about life. I've also learned some brilliant truths and learnings and some of those brilliant earnings you don't get taught at school. And I wonder if I had been given this information, whether I would have believed it at the time or not. However, having experienced it for myself, um, I am now in a position to share. The one thing that I would add is that I've always been open in life to knowledge or open even when I didn't understand things fully and even when it went against things that perhaps I'd been taught um, Uh, were not the norm, so to speak. And I think that's really uh, been a critical piece in my journey, so as not to limit what is possible, and rather to expand my own vision, which is part of where the inspiration for this podcast, or the podcast name, should I say, came from. So vision essentially means a future with new imagination and wisdom. Going back to 2020, this was actually when the podcast was first planned. And the goal at the time was for this podcast to act as a source of inspiration, to use the platform to share content that I felt could help people, support people on their own journey, because it isn't easy. And as well as to bring some laughter to, very important part of my MO. Now, so essentially a melting pot of stories, experiences, the good, the bad, the brilliant. You have to encompass all because that is real life. Yet here we are in 2023 and a perfect example that things don't always go to plan, do they? Now, 2020, you will recall, was an unforgettable year. And at that time, I took the positive and thought, gosh, this could really support my podcast goal, or or at least it was a great time to start it with people being at home, etc. However, a chain of other life events took hold outside of my control. And I'm proud of what I managed. I'm proud of what I had to hold mentally, emotionally, physically and financially. And despite what happened that year, I remained positive. Now, I knew I just had to roll with things and surrender and let go. As life has taught me previously, if you resist when you're going through such circumstances, it only creates more friction and friction creates more angst, etc., etc. So stopping for air 
and or coming up for air in 2021, something happened um, that I had not planned. However, it had to happen. And I can only describe it as a veil that was lifted. And I scanned the last 20, 25 years of my career, people, situations. However, this version, I took the rose tinted glasses off. And yes, if I was a volcano, you would have heard me rumble. So fast forward to today and additional experiences in 21 and 22. Now, prior to that, as is the case for everyone, um, there is no one on this planet who has any true idea of any of our individual journeys, and they never will. And I've experienced some amazing things, amazing times, and I have lived, I have laughed, I have explored, but I did make that choice and I did make it happen. However, it has not been easy and it has not always been filled with the rainbows and flowers that many might believe. It, in fact, it has been filled with many less favourable experiences. Now, I'm not perfect and absolutely no one is. And we all have learning um, to do on an ongoing basis. I'm not talking about life events outside of my control or events we're all going to go through for example, the loss of loved ones. I'm talking about the torrents of less enjoyable experiences at the hand of people, at the hand of people's mouths, their actions, at the hand of manipulators, at the hand of very insecure people. Yet, I'd spent the best part of my life championing people, companies, working hard, making a lot of money for many different people, and groups and often going above and beyond and also behind the scenes motivating and inspiring and helping so many people along their journey because I recognized I had that in me and I could aside from those strangers um, along my journey that who were very grateful for experience for example a cocktail of jealousy and hatred because I looked nice or was slim or because I worked hard, because I was positive, because I was kind, because I was intelligent. Also, those who intentionally tried to trip me up, spread lies and mistruths, and those who blocked me in the workplace again and again. I mean, the list does go on and on and on. And who would really believe it? And no, this isn't about uh, go and get a thicker shin. No, we've gone past that now. And what is required, it's time for society to really, really for, to look at ourselves and to look at how we treat each other. And it's time to break some of those less healthy behavioural cycles down so that we can grow from a, a, a better place. This reason, the reason I have to mention the less glossy moments is because it's important to set everything in context. And yes, this is and will be about motivation and inspiration. However, it's also about showing what is possible. And by now, I should be, by rights, a really cold, heartless, negative person. And when I say negative in this context, let, let me share what I mean. I mean, be someone who's always seeing the bad in something, not believing things are possible, someone who would be speaking badly on others continuously for no reason whatsoever, being unkind to other people. It could also look like feeling stuck or feeling lonely or feeling the world is a horrible place. It's also testament to sort of sentences such as, what's the point? Why did that happen to that good person? Why is that person who isn't being kind, who is constantly lying, who is constantly being manipulative, getting things. Now, I am proof that despite going through years and years of less enjoyable experiences and circumstance, that it is possible to transmute the bad times and bounce back again and again. So we're going to be shining a light on a new way of living and being and how we can let go of the past and move forward. And it's absolutely taking that notion that you can go through less favourable times and the darker moments and you cannot turn cold 
And you can still be a strong person, a kind person. You can also be knocked down by life again and again in whatever way that it is coming at you because I am proof. So whatever you think or don't think, knowledge is helpful. And what I know is no matter how much money you have or you don't have, you are going to go through funky times. And there are things you can do to bring your life into more ease. Again, which is testimony to the name of this podcast, Vision, which means creating a future with new imagination and wisdom. So what are the ways that we can live, be, think differently and ultimately grow? Because the only way this is going to change is that everyone has to put the time in and to be open to growing. So what does this podcast look like? Good question. And I'm not 100% sure on everything because it is going to evolve. And that is a part of creativity that I'm very much open to. And despite not having the music perfectly down, the sound quality perfectly in place, and also speaking today filled with cold, I am moving forward and hitting go. Now, what I can say is this. Some episodes are going to be me speaking solo and typically inspired from week's events, as well as tying in past experiences and learnings. In addition, some weeks I'll be in conversation with some guests on their careers, lives and experiences. And these are guests from all walks of life, from well-known celebrities to every day, every body. And I will be dropping a number of episodes and then breaking for a few weeks and then going again. Now, what I would like to reiterate is that my learnings come from real life experiences. As I said before, the good, the bad and the brilliant, rather than some social media posts that I happen to watch or a quick video that I've decided to turn myself into an expert. So this knowledge has been pulled over many, many years, and it's knowledge that I have shared um, across the years with many people, whether they choose or did not choose to give credit to me or not. And from my own side, knowledge has always been a huge part of my journey, and knowledge is actually one of the meanings of the name Julia. And certainly after my degree, when I jumped into my first job, I started buying books on self-development and business. And it was via a catalogue that came through my door. And I'd buy the books, I'd read the books, and then I started putting the strategies into practice. And guess what? They weren't. Also early in my career, I had access to a lot of professional training in the corporate world. And I absolutely embraced that and jumped on every single training course that I had access to. And I'm still using some of that knowledge to today. I've also watched, I've also learned, I've absorbed what's worked, what didn't work. And and, and I'm still reflecting on some of these things and assimilating information because things do change and new things come to light. And I'm open to that and you have to be. And of course, the mountains of lessons by which by definition are without doubt absolutely priceless. So why am I sharing this with you? Because if I hadn't had all the knowledge and the learnings, and also kept being open to learn, I am not sure I would have been able to make it this far in such a healthy way. And maybe I wouldn't have made it through at all. So it is without doubt my ability to bounce back again and again, and to continuously learn how you can keep transmuting less favorable circumstance so that you can keep moving forward, you can keep growing, you can keep learning. But it was ultimately the knowledge that has saved me and helped me, but as well as being able to put it into action. So, it would seem that 2023 is perhaps exactly when this podcast was meant to come out. And yes, I reiterate again, I want this podcast to be a source of inspiration and motivation, 
this is who I am and this is who I have always been. However, it has to integrate the straight talk and some real talk because that's life. And this may or may not change, we shall see. The fact that I don't have it all figured out is also testament to my own personal growth because years ago it would not have um, released without having everything perfectly in place. But now I reiterate and it was something that I showcased and um, was very passionate about in 2013 when I was interviewed by a British glossy magazine um, a result of which the the feature was entitled Perfection is Overrated. So whenever you fall down, and everyone does in some shape or form, or when life events happen outside of your control, or when people intentionally do things in an attempt to sabotage, because again, keeping this real, this happens, you have somewhere to come. And I really, really hope that this podcast will provide you with some new knowledge, as well as some inspiration, as well as some laughter. I also hope that it will help energize and uh, give you uh, a stronger inner belief. So you can choose if you wish, and if you wish to create a new vision for your own life, or at least open up a little your current vision to new possibilities, even when you don't know how, and even when you don't think it's possible. So you can go and do what you really want, regardless of media, society, friends, what families, colleagues think, or regardless of what life throws your way. And I hope also it will inspire a new way of thinking, being, living, viewing, and experiencing this world. And more importantly, how we treat each other. And I'm going to say that again, how we treat each other, because ultimately we are all in this together. And for those of you that were told you can't do this, and for those of you that have been repeatedly put down, criticised, chastised, not recognised, shut down, sabotaged or held back, I will be your champion. So, Here's to new life and to all of those people who still intentionally continue to act in ways that are less than fulfilling and supportive to people as a whole. Even you can change and it's in your best interest because it is possible and I'm not saying it's easy because healing isn't for the weak. But I believe even you can do it too. So to new lives, to creating a new vision of what life can be and what it can look like and to how we treat each other. Here's to keeping it real. It's not always easy. However, it is absolutely possible. So for now, I'm just going to leave you with this. Take care. God bless and love to all.